Hello, my name's Rachel from Rachel Bio Ceramics. Tonight I'm going to show you something a little bit different. I'm going to paint on china. So the china is uh, a commercial china. You could buy china mugs and plates from uh, all over the place, in town, or you could get them wholesale if you want to buy enough. And we're going to uh, paint directly onto the, the already glazed surface and then we're going to fire the product in now we've uh, we've already done one this evening to show you what that it's going to look like so this is um the finished result so you can see that i've only used black and i've just used one one coat of product now this one was actually done with clay paint which is a clay based underglaze um, and so we'll see the result once they are fired if there's any difference. So the next one I'm going to use um, creative colour which is the same as an EZ so it's a one stroke colour. Now a little tip that helps if you, uh, if you found it a bit slidey, I found it fine but just to see what it's like you spray it with hairspray so you spray the surface of the china with ha any old hairspray and then you leave it to dry and it just gives it a little bit of a, a gritty feel and then it makes it a little bit easier to paint. So that's ready to go in the kiln and be fired and hopefully it should all go shiny. And this is, I've started, so I've sprayed this with hairspray and then I've um, just used uh, my rake brush to do the edge. So I'm going to show you how to do the edge with a rake brush and the reason I did this um, before is so that it could dry a little bit. I did it about an hour ago so it's a bit dry for me to touch because I prefer to do that first. Okay so even now it's not quite dry so we have a little bit of black on our hands so we just wipe that off. Okay so away we go. Here we've got a uh, a china, the china little uh, teacup off the teacup and saucer, and I'm using my own brushes. I this is a china saucer. Oh, sorry, a china saucer. Is it a saucer or is it a teacup? That's a saucer, is it, isn't it? Yeah, mm. teacup's the thing you drink out of. Well, I mean, no, I mean a tea plate, it's oh. a little tea plate because there's a saucer, it's got a smaller middle, so it's a tiny tea plate. Okay, good job, Cotley's here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, right, so I'm going to, it's, this, this one hasn't actually been sprayed and the great thing about working on china, if you want to start doing a few little bits on china, is you can practice on the china and then you can just wipe it off. So you can keep practicing your brushwork and you're not wasting anything and you can just keep wiping it off, so it's great. So the, uh, this is uh, what we call a rake brush. And you can see that it's got like little fingers. And so sometimes people will say, have you chopped those out? But no, it was made like that. And if they clog a little bit together, you, you need them to be nicely separated. What you would do is just give it a little, a little blow and it'll open up. And so it'll look like a rake. And it comes, you can buy them, several manufacturers uh, do them. Uh, but I have my own set of brushes here, which there are 10 brushes, which are normally £49 for 10 brushes, but at the moment on my website, they're on offer for 39 if you go to the special offers page. So they've got Perspex handles, which have been uh, balanced and weighted, so they are quite a weighty brush and nice to use. So if you just, when you're going to do this edge, you need to flick from the outside in, not the other way around. It won't look right if you go that way, because if you go that way, you end up with, in the way you start it off, it's thick, and you want it to end very thin. So you just put, put it on the edge and flick. Do a few flicks and then get some more paint. Make sure that your brush is uh, cleared. So what I do is I fill the brush up and then I give it a little wiggle. I'm trying to see where you can see. You just see. do it forever down in the corner. Is it here? Other side, other side. <laughs> like this, yeah. little, little wiggle, so that it opens it up. You can see it's opened up this, the brush, and then you just flick. And then when it's run out of paint, get some more and just keep giving it a little flick. This does. This brush does great hair. 
So if you're doing a Santa or you're doing a teddy person's hair, it's great. Or if you want to do a tree, it does great trees and it also does nice little tiny flowers if you want to do. Things like lavender, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, lavender and things. Okay, so there you go. And actually, I quite like that just exactly as it is. If you wanted a, a plain dinner set, you could go along to Argus or something and buy a whole white china tea set for not expensive. Just give yourself a, a, a fancy band like this and fire it and you'd have an unusual dinner set. So that's the edge done. So now I'm going to show you how to do a simple brush stroke. And I'm using uh, my number uh, three, I think it is. Is it a three? Yeah. Is it a three? Four. Is it a four? Yeah. A four. It's a four. I'm a bit blind, I think. So, yeah. So it's a number four. So all I'm using is a number four and a, a liner. I'm using a very, very fine liner. You can see it's almost like a lash liner. And if you are doing lines, normally what you would do is you would thin, put, put a little tiny bit of water in and thin the colour to an ink, whatever colour you're using. One stroke is a fantastic product to do lettering with. So you can start with just giving yourself some branches, or should I say stems, it's not a tree, just some little branches coming up. So, and then we're going to do the comma stroke. And also you can give yourself some little sprigs of grass. So pull it up and flick it back. I think it needs to just be a little bit thinner. Pull it up and flick it back. Can you see? Okay, and then I'm going to load the uh, the number four brush pulling the brush through the color till it's fully loaded and then i'm going to do the comma stroke so to do the comma stroke i generally put my little pinky down you, if you can balance that's fine and sometimes you have to balance depending what you're doing so i start with the two middle petals so you put the tip of the brush on the plate tip pressure on and pressure off. Pressure on and pressure off. Tip, pressure on and pressure off. On, off, on, off. Give that stem a little, um, at the top of the, the flower, whoops, where look at that. Just make it miss the plate. Mm. Tip and smash that down and bring it down so that it's actually got something to hang on to. Push it on, push it off. Then turn the plate and go the other way. Push it on, push it off, push it on, push it off. Push it on, push it off, push it on, push it off, push it on, push it off. And that and that's it that's that's the first one now if you want you could put another color with it you could put white so you had shades of gray going going through it which i think i did do with this one let me have a look did i do you know i can't remember yes i did looking at it yeah there's it it's got little bits of white in it this one i'm just going to do black okay so now i'm going to do another one so fill the brush, keep it very upright, very perpendicular, tip, smash it down and bring it to a point. Tip, push it on, push it off, push it on, push it off. You don't have to fill up each time. Push it on, push it off, push it on, push it off. Turn it round. Put some going down, push it on, push it off, push it on, push it off. How quick is that? And there's so many different flowers that you can do with commas. Crocuses look good. 
okay and then you could have one which, which was slightly closed so press it on press it off press it on press it off press it on press it off so that's like a little bud and then put yourself some leaves in so when you're doing leaves I like to start with the top one so tip press it on press it off and then pull um, some more leaves in but don't put the next leaf right opposite otherwise they look like little teeth so drop it down a little bit like that so it's like staggering it staggering it yeah that's it stepping it or staggering it yeah and then we'll put on here press it on press it off push it on push it off Yeah. And just by the fact that you don't load every time, you'll get different values of colour. So then if you'd like to do a, a little, um, say a dragonfly, let's have a look what we've got here. That's a brush full of colour. Let's just take it out. This is, um, um, might be a bit thin actually. I think I'll stick with what I've got. So we'll do it with this. So we'll have a little dragonfly. So we'll start with its head. So tip, press, and just take it straight off. So you've got like a little dot. And then the body, pull it down. And then take it to right off to a point. And then give it two wings. One, two. One. Two. So it's the same stroke, and I'm just going to go down that middle again. So I've not got any. Do they have feelers? Mm. Don't think they do, do they? I think they might. Might they? Okay. Well. I don't know. I'd have to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just pretend they've got feelers. I think so they probably will. I'm using the lash brush. This is. I really love this brush. This is a Royal uh, Majestic uh, liner. And it, I'm going to do a hat pin. So to do a hat pin, you start inside the head and pull and press, pull and press. And I don't know if you can see how fine they are. Yeah. Because it's a bit, it's very bright. Now you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. 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 And that's it, folks. That, that's, look, how, look how easy that is. Now, if you wanted, you think, oh, actually, I'd like it to be... Uh, speckled you don't have to buy you know you, you obviously you're not going to glaze it it's glazed already you're just going to fire this and this will all go shiny so oh it's horrible noise so this is just um oh what would you call it it's, i don't know it's like a, scr a scrubbing, scrubbing brush of some description it's bristle i bought it from oh oh in york in uh where you buy gifts so oh, i can't remember what they call it now um <laughs> never mind the shambles yeah the shambles but it was one of those shops um where you go find out all about york i forgot what they call them now it'll come to me later oh, an information place. yeah it was an information place and they sell unusual things and i don't know what this was for but i looked at it and thought oh great spatter brush so i just put a little bit of black on there but anything with a hard bristle because yeah. I, mean, I use the um the long brushes that you use to scrub pans with Yes, we or use it. Yeah, a little scrubbing brush, a little hand yeah, scrubbing yeah, brushing, yeah, be good yeah. as well. And then so we've got, we have got some proper spatter brushes which you twist, which are also good. But you know, in in the midst of this decorating, we couldn't find it. <laughs> so we do like this one as well. So all you do is pull it back. So you can see, look, it's just giving that plate a little bit of a speck, which I think looks pretty cool. Can, can you see? Ooh, sort of. Yeah. It's yeah, not. It's not. It it's not the greatest because the thing is, it's shiny. So. You can see it. But how about that? So you, that now is just ready to go straight in the kiln. And no glazing necessary. And obviously, this is china, so it's dishwasher proof, and microwave safe. 
and it's just a little bit different it's just a different way of working to do a little china painting workshop with your one strokes or your glaze based under glazes anyway i hope you've enjoyed that and you'll have a little go i can show you one actually that i have done earlier uh, and, and and it's fired so this is this was done with um my creative color and well, it's ever so bright isn't it mm. and it's um it, we we're, we've realized that we're much better off videoing in the, in daylight and not with lights because it's very bright in here but this is just simple brush strokes on top of a china mug and then and then fired and if you've got a studio and you've got people coming in for coffee etc uh, the earthenware obviously it chips a lot easier than stoneware in china so you could go and buy yourself a load of, of um china mugs and just put spots on or whatever you wanted and then serve your uh, customers with tea and coffee and even put even put your logo on or something or paint the name thank you for painting at whatever your shop's called anyway i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you subscribe and comment at the bottom what you'd like to see next time see you next time bye